Hey, 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 I hope you're all doing very good. Uh, welcome back to Mining Hardware YouTube channel. This is me, your host, Guntis, and it's good to see you all back here. So in today's video, we're gonna go through Monero, Random X, what's going on with the network hash rate, what's going on with the mining. Uh, many of you were asking me how to set up this on HiveOS. So we're gonna go through that also. And we will do some dual mining Monero and the uh, Ethereum on the same mining rig. So let's go guys. So this is the machine currently I have. I have here. Um, so it does have the, of course the uh, Ryzen 9 uh, 3900 CPU. Uh, which seems the best choice to mine Monero uh, currently. So then I have the uh, 436 uh, 100 MHz um, C19, I think the, uh, the RAM sticks, um, they are not the best quality, um, but um, they are doing, doing a very good job. The problem is, you know, um, when I change the timings on this RAM, you know, the system gets, gets very unstable. Um, but otherwise, it's working fine. And there was a few guys commenting in uh, before, uh, in the previous video, uh, that, you know, two RAM sticks is enough uh, and more um, RAM sticks won't do any change to the hash rate. I want to tell you that's not true, uh, and if you uh, have four sticks, you know, you will have more performance on Monero mining. So two sticks installed, you know, stock, I received uh, about 11 and a half, 11.2 kilo hash, and uh, with the four sticks, didn't change anything, I received 12.3, uh, 12.5, uh, so one kilo hash more for adding two RAM sticks. Um, also on this rig, I do have um, two RX 570s, sorry, 5700 uh, for mining Ethereum. And yeah, that's about it, 750 watt power supply. And uh, this is running on iBoys currently but this rig you know this rig uh, it's very good that some you know you could use it for gaming rendering you know uh, anything you need a uh, um, high-end computer hardware uh, to receive good performance so this is usable for absolutely anything not just mining and currently this mining rig is mining Monero with 1300, 13,000 hashes and Ethereum with 105 mega hashes. And the total power draw from the wall is 530 watts. I just want to tell you that um, I haven't done anything to memory timings and uh, I have just overclocked the uh, CPU to 4300 uh, megahertz and uh, you know the, the performance I'm getting here is a 12.93 kilo hash uh, which is uh, seems a nice mining performance for random X and uh, currently it is mining um, it here sorry uh, Monero and also here you can see I have two graphics cards uh, mining uh, Ethereum. It's been mining uh, less than uh, 24 hours. The system is stable. Uh, GPU temperatures are okay. One, one GPU 68, 149. And uh, yeah, I'm using HiveOS. Minor uptime you can see five hours 37 seconds um, so 
Some of you were asking how to use HiveOS for mining. It's, you know, it's very, very, very easy, you know. It's much more easier as you think. Uh, it might look complicated when you first open it, but it's so easy. They are, um, they are suggesting what to use uh, inside, you know, the flight sheets. So basically you need just create first wallets. You know, you create a uh, wallet for Monero, you create wallet for Ethereum, you know, uh, and then you just uh, click on the create uh, flight sheet and you will come up to a window like this. Then you choose coin, you know, what you want to mine, Monero. Then you choose the wallet you have created uh, and choose the, the mining pool, you know. It's already offering uh, where you can mine Monero, which mining pools, so you don't have to go and look uh, somewhere, you know, which uh, which mining pool to use. Uh, the only thing you can check, you know, how big is the mining pool hash rate. I'm mining on a nano pool, which seems quite good. It has about a little bit less than 10% of the total network hash rates here. Um, and then you need to choose a miner. When you open a miner, it's offering you four miners. All of these are mining uh, Monero. Uh, you can see what kind of hardware you can use. NVIDIA AMD CPU, uh, you know, only CPU. But I'm using this here, XM Rig uh, Miner. I see it seems like it's uh, getting the best performance from it. Um, then you just set up the miner, you know. You can do you know some some override settings um, inside the uh, minor configuration. Um, there's the what what I have done here. I have just uh, here set it up CPU huge huge pages one two four eight. It says here even in the uh, even the description you know default value is one two eight, uh, and it's quite enough for kryptonite based algorithms. Recommended value, value for random X is one, two, four, eight. So this is what I have set. Um, and then you just apply these settings, yeah. Um, and then you can add the miner. There's a button here, add the miner. And you can add the second miner to your flight sheet. Uh, what I'm, where I'm mining Ethereum. So I choose the coin, Ethereum. I choose the uh, wallet, uh, what I have. And then the same, I choose the mining pool. I like to use the high volume because they have zero uh, percent fee uh, for mining Ethereum. And of course, I use the Phoenix miner as, as, as it seems the uh, fastest miner uh, currently. And that's basically it. Update the miner. All workers, you know, if the worker hasn't ch uh, chosen uh, this flight sheet already, you need to go into worker, you know. This is the worker I have. Uh, so you go in the flight sheet and you pl click this rocket button and it will be joining the uh, it will be joining the uh, the flight sheet and it will start using this configuration on the miner um, so yeah you can see on the nano pool I have been mining it uh, for a little while see the hash rate current uh, yeah it's probably not true 18 uh, killer hashes, but the average is 12.7 um, for the last six hours, so that could be about uh, right. And uh, I have mined so far 0 0.013 uh, uh, Monero. You can see one worker, that's the same worker name I have in the high boys. Um, that's the total hash rate of the uh, mining, who, mining pool I was checking and uh, and yeah it's been, been stable about 73 to 75 76 mega hash uh, on this mining pool so it's not bad it's it's you know the but the Monero total network hash rate just keeps growing and uh, yeah, there's not much to say, you know. The hash rate keeps draw growing. Of course, the profit is dropping. Um, and uh, 
what I think behind it it is yeah um, I think a red panda mining had a good video about this you know probably the data centers with the uh, CPUs they have already uh, um, are mining Monero and uh, if it doesn't take you know much effort for them um, also what I think is because you know everyone that, you know who is in mining for example on, on Ethereum has a mining rig you know it doesn't matter you, even if it has Celeron CPU it doesn't matter it doesn't make any you know uh, hard work uh, to uh, configure such uh, flight sheet in a high OS and even a, a, a one kilo hash from your seller on you know 700 mega hash uh, so, so 700 hashes uh, from your seller on CPU or Pentium CPU <coughs> to mine Monero uh, when it's sitting there doing nothing um, so yeah this is this is what I think why uh, you know the hash rate has been growing so much also you know because the, the miners already are mining but they are not using the CPU really and you know this is a good way to use your CPU also you know even if you get few cents a day you know still <coughs> if you have a large mining mining farm it makes a lot of sense so the profitability is uh, low um, of course yeah, with the, the price the, the price is just not there and the profitability uh, is also not there the difficulty is high um, so calculate 13,000 hashes currently gives you uh, a day 114 US dollars uh, every 24 hours monthly it gives you 34.34 and you can mine 0 0.64 um, Monero um, yeah, the return on investment of this machine, you know, it's quite long, about three years probably. Um, but, you know, if the Monero, um, Monero price goes to the back to the all-time highs, about 500 bucks, you know, the, the, uh, the uh, return on investment is about three months after that, at, 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 at that price but uh, yeah it's not there yet <laughs> um, so so this rig is mining dual uh, it's still mining ethereum and the ethereum profitability is also low as the price has been on a low side for a while uh, these two gpus does about 31.7 uh, us dollars a month which uh, makes it you know cheaper um, you know, makes it better to mine Ethereum because you know the, the the hardware is a little bit cheaper uh, to uh, uh, mine Ethereum than the uh, um, Random X Monero. Um, but you still need, you know, that's only calculating the GPUs. You still need the other hardware, like like on this rig, you know, Monero is already needed the hardware, so it has the CPU, all the RAM, all the everything. And you, I just had to add a couple of GPUs, which will make some extra, <coughs> extra gains, uh, which is always nice. And also, yeah, the profit is low, um, but of course, if you get back to all-time highs, um, uh, which I believe we, we will do in the future, um, the profit will seem uh, quite big, you know, one to two, two to three months or return of your investment at, at the all-time price, all-time high prices. So this was the video review about the Random X Monero Ethereum uh, mining. <laughs> Yeah, I just want to mention that I uh, love Monero. I have been mining it since 2016 and I will keep supporting it because uh, I think it could do very good in the future. I love privacy coins and Monero, I think it's one of the best privacy coins out there. Um, so you, could, you should call it a little bit um, 
this is only my thoughts. This is not financial advice. Um, but yeah, this is what's going on currently with it. And um, I hope you did enjoy the video. Um, if you did, hit the like button and share with your buddies. Um, otherwise, mind hardcore or don't mind at all. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Bye. Goodbye, goodbye.